oil. It's Earth's lube. And right now, it's lubing up all the wrong places. Urgent efforts off of Southern California. Crews working to contain a major oil spill, one of the largest there in recent history. At least 126,000 gallons of oil leaking into the Pacific. The source, believed to be a pipeline four and a half miles offshore, the area impacted a 13 square mile stretch between Huntington and Newport Beach. People urged to stay away from the beaches. Images coming in late today of oil washing ashore. Officials say they have stopped the flow, but warnings tonight of a potential ecological disaster. Okay, look guys, I'm no scientist, but I feel like the last thing a state that's currently on fire needs is a wave of oil washing towards it. I mean, pray those wildfires don't reach the ocean or the whole state is gonna be fried worse than Dog the Bounty Hunter. Like, why can't California's disasters cancel each other out for once? You know, just one time. Like, why can't there be a major flood that puts out the wildfires? or an earthquake that swallows up the hype house. And I feel terrible for those birds covered in black oil. You know, not only is their health in danger, but they're also in danger of getting canceled on Twitter. I will say though, the good news is, with the price of gas right now, they are probably gonna get a lot of volunteers to clean this mess up. Yeah, people are gonna be ringing seagulls over their gas tanks like, come on, I just need enough to get to work, come on! And you know what's especially awful about this? Is that animals only see the downside of oil. In fact, that's the reason I think that every animal that gets covered in an oil spill, they should get a free Dodge Durango. It's comfy, right? Yeah, now you see why we keep doing this. All right, and finally, let's get into the video that everyone is talking about on TikTok. You know, the app where people watch 10 second videos for 15 hours straight. Right now, one of those videos is the subject of the most intense forensic investigation since the Kennedy assassination. I am officially hooked on the saga of Couch Guy and I'm not alone. The original video has been viewed 50 million times alone. This is it, it shows a young woman named Lauren surprising her boyfriend at college. His name is Robbie, that's him in the red on the couch. The video is dividing the internet. Many people saying he is not happy enough to see her. One comment saying red flag, he did not get up and jump out of the window in excitement. Another saying he looked like he hugged her like she was his aunt at Christmas dinner. But TikTokers are digging deeper into the mystery here, saying that when Robbie bends over, okay, you can see it in slow motion here, the girl sitting next to him on the couch sneakily passes his cell phone underneath his arm. It's like. All right, there yeah. his arm goes to the side of his pants. Oh, yeah, oh. okay. Why did she have the phone in the first place? Why did they have to hide that she had it? That's shady. Other TikTokers analyzing the girl on the couch's movements when Lauren walks in, okay? They're saying it's weird that she felt like she needed to scoot away, not once from Robbie, but two times. As of this morning, though, Lauren is still defending him on her TikTok, so... Wow, this is so intense. And look, I know everyone's having fun with this story, but you got a feel for this couple. You know, because normally, the people who come under this level of scrutiny, they're mega celebrities. You know, people are uh, acting like they're Brangelina or Kim and Kanye, but they're just a normal couple that's gonna break up. But if we are gonna get into this, this might not be a popular opinion, but I am siding with Couch Guy here. Yep, I said it. Yes, maybe he could have been more excited, but in his defense, you have to remember these are COVID times and she just got off a plane. So even if he's really happy to see her, he's probably thinking, is it okay to hug her? Was she tested? Is she gonna give COVID to my side chick? I mean, for real guys, what we need to remember here is how jarring it is to see somebody out of context. It doesn't matter who it is. It's gonna throw you off. Like if my mom showed up right here, right now, I wouldn't be like, mom! I'd probably be like, whoa, wh what, mom? Uh, what are you doing? Am I in trouble? What happened? Did I leave the stove on again? So I don't think his, his delayed reaction is damning evidence here. What is damning evidence is that he's sitting next to a guitar. Yeah, because I'm sorry, people, but if you're in college and you're sitting next to a girl and you've got a guitar next to you, you're definitely trying to smash. I mean, that's a rule, isn't it? That's the law. Why else do people buy guitars? <laughs> Not to play them. I mean.